Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, and welcome to a new uh, Redstone video. I'm uh, here with uh, Deco 200, and hello, with, uh, yo, <laughs> with Purple Dragon Nuke, and uh, you guys are in luck. Second video today. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, after a year. The of frequency non goes up by 200. Fold. Exactly. Exactly. No, like um, this afternoon, I got contacted by uh, by Deco via Discord, and. Uh, he saw my video and was very interested and was wondering if we could make it smaller. Um, yes. My design was ginormous. I was aware of it, but like the, for me, it was just a matter of, I wanted the design to, to work. I wanted the functioning design and didn't really go on from there. But uh, yeah, Deco uh, has a, a better grasp of the, uh, the subtleties when it comes to uh, like uh, using uh, observer Observer? blocks. Exactly. I've never used this before. Actually, I know, I know, but like uh, <laughs> the, the sort of mechanisms in between. So Fair what enough. what happened with my design is that I had uh, six clocks going, probably more even. Uh, whereas now we're down to one clock, um, an interesting clock actually. It's based off the same principle as uh, the active flying machines from Pi. Um, and uh, purple showed us some interesting uh, mechanics with the lamps uh, that allowed me to make it even smaller here. Um, but uh, let's so, just show it in action, and then after that, Deco will tell you a little bit more about. We the, should uh, just start the clock first, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, just do that. So the the little clock that we have here uh, with the lamps, they actually light up. It's really cool. And then we have a, an interesting new start-stop mechanism, which we'll probably do a separate video on, uh, which is also based off of uh, uh, Pi's uh, active flying machines. But yeah, Super this is cool mechanic. It's a it's a cool mechanic, but uh, this is what we uh, we came up with. Um, it's a lot slower, but th there's there's a reason for that because uh, we want this to be able to work with you know uh, giant robot feet. And uh, if you have a f flying machine that's very fast, like the one that I was using, uh, that one was about the, the same speed as a Tomahawk missile, then uh, then you run into uh, some issues. Um, furthermore... So you want I to make a really big robot, obviously you want a, s a slower engine to be able to do cool stuff with it. Exactly. Um, before Deco goes a little bit more into the mechanics, I want to actually make a, somewhat of a statement because there was a lot of confusion in the comments of my last video. Um, this is not a moving feed tape. This is a move movable feed tape. The difference being that the feed tapes that have been around for over a year, regardless of wh whatever anyone says, they've been a lot around for over a year already. Uh, they're not new. Um, the, the, those are feed tapes that move while a flying machine moves. Whereas you can see clearly in the video here, this one is not moving in, in like a loop while it is moving. But the moment that you, you stop the machine, uh, that is when the feed tape becomes active. So you have moving feed tapes. And in this case, this is a movable feed tape. I know, I know it's a super subtle difference, but it is it is important. Uh, but Deco, yeah, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the interesting mechanics that we ended up using? Right, so obviously a really interesting mechanic is using the lamps here, and uh, there's just one clock here now. So this clock here with the two lamps is a bit slower than uh, the regular two facing into each other observers, and that makes it easier to do the timings on the other side. So on the other side, what we have is just observers that are detecting that the tape is moving, and then it's sending a signal around with some pistons, and it's powering these pistons at the back. And there are two pistons here, so that these two pistons are also able to move the blocks in the tape when the entire flying machine moves. So the difference is that it's much simpler with just there being one clock, and then just some differences made to make sure that it's all synchronized and the timings are correct, and it doesn't mess up all the time. Yeah, so it's not yeah. like super derpy and stuff. Hey man, mine wasn't derpy. <laughs> <laughs> Yours was amazing in a derpy way. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, and besides that, we ended up uh, creating a, a new uh, flying machine in a sort of two by two space, and you can extend it to extend it or make it smaller, and then uh, yeah, slower, obviously. Yeah, slower or faster. 
okay. and the way it is set up now, like this, this flying machine is set up for the uh, with the pistons that we have now. And if we were to to, to like change the, uh, the the speed of the flying machine, we would have to probably redo a lot of the timings on the feed tape. But I think the speed is now that it is now is perfect for most types of robots. So yeah. And Smaller. This was recorded on the Redstoner server, by the way. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. Um, you can't really see that now because we're on the streaming server. Um, but if you're looking for other players to uh, to do Redstone with and uh, have your own plot and like exchange ideas and stuff, like how me, me Deco, and Purple were doing today on the server, uh, like I'll probably be on it every now and then as well. Uh, you can go on the to the link in the description on uh, 1.12. I don't know when you guys will update, I guess. We'll Pretty see about that. after 1.13, probably. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, guys, second video for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed. We'll uh, add a download link in the description. And uh, Purple also says bye. And uh, we'll see you uh, in the next video. Bye-bye.